What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Let us continue on with the death of our enemies. Now that we've arrived in Miron Death City, we can hopefully track down the bad guys. Looks like we're splitting up into two teams again. So, let's go like this. Is this the battle I think it is? It must be. No, oh, no, it's a completely different battle. And a significantly easier significantly easier one at that. Wait, what? Unless I defeat you here, I can't face Raffle. I don't think you're gonna face Raffle unless I kill you here. So it's like the opposite of what you just said. Do your worst, ninja face. You can't hurt me. Oh right, I keep forgetting that the uh, the second weapon is not affected by blade grasp. Why would you not attack me from behind? I'll just plop a cure two down on her. So all we gotta do is take out Kletchen, who apparently flies. Oh, that's a nasty spell. Whether or not he's actually going to be able to cast it, I don't know. Let's kill this ninja. Or he could block it. I always seem to have terrible luck in this game for some reason. The number of times that uh, like a 80 or 90 percent chance ends up failing is just astounding. But then again, you know, that's perception for you. Okay, I was gonna say stab you in the face, but apparently not. He's level 54. Let's go with level 3. Holy. Suicide yet again on this guy. Just like Raffle. Except he actually died. Because Kletchen is a pathetic wimp. Come on, come on. Let's just fast forward this. Okay. So now you get to face Rawful, even despite the fact that you didn't kill me. Um, I don't know if it's over there. It's kind of hard to tell. Where did these guys get all these minions from, anyways? It's a curious question. Well, many questions are curious. That's just how questions work. But anyways, without further ado, let us continue on to the next fight. Once again, splitting ourselves up. So let's go like that. This must be the fight that I was thinking of last time. Lost Sacred Precincts. It is indeed the fight that I was thinking of. Our rematch with Mr. Balk. Balk, Balk, whatever his name is. And this fight can actually be quite difficult for a couple of reasons. 
We of course have Bulk, who himself is, you know, a dude with a nasty gun. Blast gun! And a pretty good amount of health, actually. And he's located fairly far away, and there's this little gap here. So the map is, uh, suits itself to uh, long distance fighting fairly well, which is pretty advantageous to Balk, of course. Don't act. You jerk, I hate you. And then of course there's all the uh, Hydra Dragon thingers. There's a Tiamat, a Hydra, and a Hydra. They're pretty nasty. Why? Oh, uh, that's why you restored health. He has move HP up. Okay. Uh, let's have her hang back a little bit. All right, she doesn't know that much point magic. Raise? I don't want to use raise. I want to use Asuna. And just for good measure, they also have a chemist who also has a gun, but we don't care about his gun because his gun is pathetic. This is actually probably one of the hardest fights in the game, but if you do play your cards right, then you should be able to take Balka out without too much trouble. That could have been much worse. I've still got punch arts, right? Yeah. Oh well. We'll make it work. Besides, punch arts is good in its own way. Uh, let's see here. Is Belt gonna go again soon? Yes, he is. Okay, well, let's jump on him. Yeah, he's probably the most. Pretty sure he's the most dangerous one. Now, bulk is on a height 7 panel, so let's try height, prime. That's perfect, in fact. I might actually get to use a uh, holy calculation ability without murdering my entire team. Not quite enough damage, but. It'll have to do. Just gonna have her wait. Because the stupid Asuna was a turn too late. Did manage to get rid of her ailment, though. And you're probably gonna try and re-don't act me. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And it worked again. You suck. I hate you. Go die. At least the Tiamat's dead. What's Mr. Hydra gonna do? Triple Flame? Triple Flame is a rather nasty attack. Especially when it's placed like that, so that only one panel is actually targetable. That guarantees that all three attacks are on the same panel. Does it look like he turned into a... Uh, Lukavi? He looks like a human to me. I'm a true human being. I don't think freedom has anything to do with it. Anyways, let's kill off this Hydra. I'm pretty sure Hydras can't use flame attacks, so... There's that. Another Asuna. This one should actually go off before she goes. He's probably gonna try and revive one of them. Yep.
Do your worst. I don't care about triple attack. Triple attack is weak sauce. Pretty sure Donak doesn't restrict Blade Grasp. I guess it does restrict Blade Grasp. Okay. Guess I'm just gonna have to hit Bulk again. Height. No, not height. Level 5. Holy. So basically, my calculation ability won this entire fight for me. I probably would have won eventually anyways, but he's the only one who actually did any damage to bulk. Oh, nice. She absorbed the holy damage? Why'd she do that? I don't know. Oh well. It works for me. So yeah, Bulk didn't turn into Blue Kavi at all. Yes, yes, yes. We know you're a wimp, Liza. We don't care. So, continue our secondary save file. Um, why did she absorb that hole? Is it because of the Excalibur? Yeah, absorb holy. Okay. Anyways, I'm a little bit short on time, so I am going to leave it here for today on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Catch you later.